One other thing I forgot to mention is I've also made a, let's just move you to the side, and in your little section I've got this little, now it's not the greatest because I'm not 100% sure how to make it without buying it, but obviously I wanted to offer you guys something that I have made. Um, so let's bring you in here. Okay, now this is your mock-up, you could say. Now, I do mock-ups in Photoshop, but I thought I would make you guys something. Let me just bring you out and out. Okay, let's see. Bring you down, let's see. And there we go. So then you can save this and you can send it to whoever it is that you are um, making this chip bag for. You probably need to make it slightly bit smaller because it is. So it's not the most greatest thing, but you can at least, they can get an idea of what it's going to look like. All right. Um, and then if you're wanting to do the back side of it, all you need to do is um, just trying to think how I would do that. Oh, I know what. I so you would just take your image, you would just duplicate your image, put the original to the side, and then I would just um, slice it. Hold the shift key down and slice that down there. I would then move that. And slice this down where it needs to go to, which is about there. Alright, and click off the select tool. Now you've got that piece and you've got that piece. Alright, so drag that in there, there, let's drag you in there, and then you would of course have, because most chip banks do have it, is a, um, is a little white line, so all you would need to do then is to go here, do that there like that, let's change that to white, yeah, go white, and go white. You know what? Let's change it to the, the white that they have, which is a different white. Okay, it's a little more of a. And then I would then just take that and bring that, send that to the back. And then I would just go like this and I would put that all together. And there is the back of my thing. See? So it's very easy to make. All right, um, and then you can use that as your front as your front page if you want to. If you didn't want to use the actual template that you are working on, just right click and then pop it in. Okay, so that's also included in the also included in the pack um, of templates. All right, and um, yeah, I think that's all you need to do. So that was very quick and very easy and I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of you have been asking me and asking me and asking me, uh, especially in my YouTube channel. So yeah, I hope this is very helpful. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share this video, ask me as many questions as you want. Let me know that you enjoyed this video and I will be making another video on how to do this in PicMonkey. Okay, but I'm not too sure when I'll get to that, but I will definitely do that. But I thought at least let me upload this one because a lot of you have been asking me how to make it in Silhouette Cameo. Alright, thanks guys. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.